Huh? Where's Basil? That's strange. I thought I saw him go hiding near that tree over there. Basil, where are you? Can you hear us? Basil, you can come out now. You already won. Hello, Basil. Hey, there's Basil. Basil, are you okay? Are... Are you stuck? Um... Well, there's Boss. We found him, and he's got Basil. Boss, I should have known it was you, you good-for-nothing scoundrel. Let Basil go. Yeah, what did Basil ever do to you? Basil's our friend. Don't you dare hurt him. Let go of Basil, boss. He didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> you stupid heads. You think this is about Basil? Don't play dumb. You know why I'm here. You dare... How dare you not invite me to hide and seek? I'm the one who showed you all how to play in the first place. You're not even playing it right. How can you call it hide and seek without any body slamming? My flower crown! Hey, that's the flower crown that we made for Basil. How could you? You let go of him, you bully. No. If I can't play with everyone, then no one can. This is a boss-only zone now. And you're not invited. Wow. Wham. All right, time to fight. Omori is going... Do, you, do we have skill? I can inflict a set... I can read a sad poem. Or I can guard. I don't have any toys. I don't have any snacks, or I can attack. We're gonna read a sad poem. How do I target? Yeah, there we go. Aubrey can make a friend or foe happy or guard. Aubrey's gonna attack. Kel can annoy or guard. If the sad doesn't work, then uh, will annoy, because that'll probably work. Cook heals a friend for 75% of their heart. Can be used outside of battle. That's nice. He's the healer then. Okay. Omori reads a sad poem. Boss feels sad. Kel attacks boss and it hits right in the heart. Aubrey attacks boss. Hero attacks boss. Nice. Eh, eh, you weaklings. You call that an attack. Boss cracks his knuckles. We'll fight. Boss cracks his knuckles. Is he not gonna hit back at all? Hey, that kinda hurt. Hm, this isn't fun anymore. Urgh, now you've made me angry. It's time for my special move. Body slam. Hero took 100 damage and became toast. No, Aubrey. No. Omori did not succumb. Huh? How are you still moving? Uh... I guess I'm attacking again. Yeah, he's almost dead. Omori's party was barely victorious. He looks so amused with that confetti. <laughs> I gained 32 experience and 22 clams. That's almost half my allowance. This isn't fair. Rematch. I want a rematch. Hazel, are you hurt? Oh, don't worry about me. I'm just fine. Boss, it must hurt to see people have fun without you. But that doesn't mean you can ruin other people's fun. Hmm, I know that. 
There. Does that feel better? Basil, are you sure it's okay to do that? Boss is bad news. It's a good thing Omori held on during that final attack or else we all would have been toast. It's okay. I trust him. When you were all fighting, he tried really hard to make sure I didn't get hurt. Is that true, boss? Mm. That's a load of baloney. I don't need to hear those lies. This is my spot. No one is welcome here. Well, he probably won't be a problem as long as he stays like that. I guess that means we can go to Basil's house now. That sounds good to me. We're leaving now, boss. Don't cause any trouble, okay? Okay, I'm ready. Let's go. Ah yes, some nutritious candy. I would love to eat some. Do you want to have a picnic with your friends? Yeah, I do. What is Kel doing? It's cute. Lots of little cute details. Alright, let's save. Alright, let's go to Basil's house. Oh, what's going on? I want to give flowers to someone, but he's only interested in puzzles. If only I could find a flower puzzle or something. Maybe then he would notice me. I like puzzles. Very difficult puzzle. Can I, like, put pressed flowers into the puzzle or something? Hello, friends. The grass sure feels nice here. Want to join us, Amori? Yeah! The stars shine brightly overhead. You don't have a care in the world. Omori learned observe. Nice. Tonight's a perfect night for stargazing. It's nighttime? It's pretty bright for nighttime. Hop, and a hop, and a hop, and a hop. This bang's just gonna scream when I talk to her. Talk to her. Not bangs, brows. It's bangs. Having fun takes too much effort, so watching my friends have fun is enough for me. Peekaboo! Nose is my best friend. She can't say much, but she's really smart. Nose looks occupied. Come on, Van, put your head into it. I'm gonna swing to the moon. Poor boss. Alright, let's, uh... Is there anything in this suspicious mailbox? Yes, yes. Hello, valued customer. Welcome to my shop. Please buy something. Present, it's not what you wanted. It inflicts anger on a friend or foe. <laughs> Jax deals small damage to all foes and reduces their speed. I haven't seen Jax in so long. I forgot that they existed. I'll have you know, I don't appreciate window shoppers. Well, that's too bad. Train station, pinwheel forest, or Basil's house. Well, we're gonna go in every direction but the one they want me to first. Wait, Omori, we're supposed to go to my house. It's just past the south of the playground. I just finished planting a little, some little sprouts I wanted to show everyone. Come on, they're really cute. You're gonna yell at me if I try going the other way, ain't ya? A transportation station. Doesn't seem to be in service. <laughs> uh, why are you like this? I don't wanna go to your house. Okay, fine, I'll go to your house. These are sunflowers. They're called that because they always face towards the sun. That's how I want to be like. Someone who always sees the bright side of things. A watering can. Sunflowers. These flowers are called Lily of the Valley. It's said that they're able to ward off evil spirits and help people see a brighter future. I guess that's why they remind me of Mari. I can always count on her to help me stay positive. Whoa! What's that ugly plant creature? Don't you know, Kel? That's a sprout mole! Sprout moles are highly intelligent creatures, but become dangerously vicious when they're lost. 
Please, Mr. Sprout Mole, stop that. You're stomping all over the flowers. I don't think he cares. I think we're fighting it. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> Looks like he's angry. Like us, Sprout Moles also feel emotions. Since the Sprout Mole is angry, its attack is higher. But on the other hand, it lowers its defense. So what you're saying is now is the perfect time to strike. Come on, Omori, let's do this. Um, Can't we try and make him happy, though? Try and make him happy. We'll have everybody else guard. You can do it! Okay. I'm not entirely sure if I'm doing anything helpful here. Okay, I guess we're attacking. And since neutral is getting attacked, he can guard. Not neutral. Hero is getting attacked. Omori leveled up. Ah, uh, most of the flowers are unharmed. That's a relief. Hey, Omori, now that we're getting the hang of battling, here's a journal where you can keep track of any neat foes we come across. I got the Fofax journal. There, now it's in your pocket. The journal is yours to record with, but we might pitch in sometimes too. Check it through your pocket in the player menu by pressing X. Well, that doesn't... Pocket. Import faux facts use. Lost Sprout Mole. A dangerous and hostile, ugly plant creature. It says it is smart, but do not believe it. It is not. It smells like dirty laundry. <laughs> ah, these are a type of flower called the gladiolus. The gladio what? Gladiolus, also known as the sword flower. As you might guess, they represent strength of character, someone who is honest with strong moral values, someone who stands by their convictions. The gladiolus reminds me of Aubrey because she's always true to herself. Oh, I see. So what you're saying is that Aubrey is really stubborn. Hey, no, I'm not. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Which way do I want to go? These are roses. Can you guess who they remind me of? They remind me of Hero. Did you guess correctly? Roses come in many different colors, and they have their own unique meanings. Pink roses symbolize admiration, orange roses symbolize passion, yellow roses symbolize friendship, and the list goes on. Hero doesn't remind me of any rose in particular. I think Hero is like all roses because he's versatile and universally loved. How sweet. Uh-oh, we got another one. Oh no, not again! Please, Mr. Sprout Mole, stop twirling! You're destroying all of the flowers! Not the flowers! Oh, I see. This Sprout Mole is happy. In that case, it has a higher chance to hit our weak spots and do more damage, but it also means it has a higher chance of missing. Finish him off! more tofu. Hmm. We seem to be running across a lot of foes with emotion. 
In case you didn't know, emotions can determine how strong or weak an attack is. Happy beats angry, angry beats sad, and sad beats happy. Happy beats angry, angry beats sad, sad beats happy. Here, I even drew up a guide on how they work. I'm no artist, but I think you'll get the point. I'll put it in your pocket so you can check it out later. I got the emotion chart. I would like to, yes. So happy has a higher luck and speed, but lower hit rate. Angry is a higher attack, but lower defense. And sad is higher defense and lower speed. And some damage to the heart leads to juice. I don't know what juice is. Huh. Whoa, what are these flowers called? They're all cool and spiky. Actually, Kel, this is a cactus. It's more of a plant than a flower. And it's funny that you ask because they remind me of you. Is it because he's a prick? <laughs> hey! Well, that too, but mostly because cacti are very sturdy and resilient plants by nature. They don't need much care and can survive even in seemingly impossible conditions. I guess what I'm saying is that even you could take care of a cactus, Kel. Whoa, neat! Cacti are awesome! I'm glad he didn't take that as an insult. Ah, these are white tulips. Plain, simple, and bulbous. Just like Omori. I don't know. I just think it's cute. Ah, not another sprout mole. It's all good, Basil. We got the hang of this by now. This one is sad. Hmm. See how it's curled up in the fetal position? That means it won't do as much damage as normal. But it'll also take less damage to heart and we'll lose juice instead. How sad. Let's put it out of its misery. <laughs> Yeah. The art style in this game is very cute. I'm just, I just know that this game is going to take a turn and I'm just waiting for the heartbreak. Aubrey, Kel, and Hero all up. Hero learned massage. Hi everyone. You all came just in time for a lovely picnic. Feel free to rest here. Everything is already set up and I even brought some fruit. Ah yes, some delicious fruits. Would you like to eat some? You and your friends feel like new. Munch, munch, munch. Woohoo! Thanks, Mari. You're the best. Oh, it's nothing. I'm just trying to look out for all of you. Oh, Mari, I wish I could be more like you. You always seem to have everything under control. That's not true at all. It just seems that way from the outside. Either way, you sure seem to make everything look easy. Yes, I agree. Mari is so effortlessly graceful. Don't you think so, Amori? Yeah! Aw, I guess I have to believe it a little bit if all of you think so. My house is right down this way. Are we all ready to go? I'm ready when you are. We'll catch you later, Mari. Let me know if you need anything. See you soon. Let's hit the save button. Okay, moving on. Um, is that a giant mole? He is angry, which means he's going to do more damage. Let's fix that. I don't want to make him sad. Ye old sprout. She'll make him happy. I think we'll go with happy. Happy. 
And then, actually, wait, we're gonna have Omori make himself sad. Aubrey's gonna make the enemy happy. And the other two are just gonna attack. <laughs> he rolls over. It was a dull attack. Alright, so Omori should be doing a lot of damage to him now. So what does Massage do? Removes her friend or foe's emotion. Okay, interesting. That was a good hit. Oh man, this fight is pretty tough. But don't worry, we can do it if we work together. Looks like I'm gonna have to teach you a little bit about teamwork. Let's try again, Omori. Let's get him this time. Here, you notice anything different, Omori? Yeah, the bar at the bottom. With a number on the side. This is our collective energy. By using our energy, we can defeat this foe together. Just attack and you'll see. Interesting. Did you see the bubbles that popped up when we attacked? That's called a follow-up. After you attack for a limited time, you can use energy to perform a follow-up move. Just press any directional arrow and see what happens. Okay. Attack again. Pass to Aubrey. Oh, I have no energy left. Whew. Man, this guy really is tough. But when he attacked us, did you notice that our energy went up? When we take damage, we also gain energy. Think of it as a chance to make a comeback. Trip. Lowered his speed, okay. Nice, we're full of energy. This is the perfect time to use our special attack. Omori, after you attack, press down to release energy. I hope you're all ready. Come on, everyone, let's show this big guy what we're made of. Release. <laughs> nice. That worked out pretty well. Omori is level three and he learned stab. And there you have it. Heroes Battle Tutorial 101. And I'm sure that as we fight more battles, our teamwork will improve over time. Wow, you guys. That was so amazing. Ah, that was nothing. I've taken out way bigger guys than that. I should teach you some of my skills one of these days. Basil, I know you're not the type that likes to fight, but it's good to know how to defend yourself, too. You know, I've actually been working on a book all about battles. Maybe we can all study together next time. I'll give it to Omori to hold on to for now. I got the self-help guide. As we get stronger, I'll be updating the follow-up section of the self-help guide, so be sure to check it out every now and then. Omori, you should know, when we gain XP and level up, sometimes we'll also learn skills. Skills are powerful and have a wide range of effects, but each of us can only remember up to four skills at a time. After you learn a new skill, don't forget to equip it from the player menu, okay? Yeah, yeah, we know. Can we go to Basil's house now? Okay, that's all I had to say. Patience, Kel. 